Hey guys, welcome back to another video of Modded Minecraft Let's Play. And in today's episode, hopefully, we will be having emeralds, so therefore we get silk touch. So, I've already got what I need. The coal blocks, 64. Where well, I've been mining, I've just been gathering coal left, right and centre. So, that coal will now be very useful in the fact of since we've got a village round the back that also reminds me I wanted to gather as many of the villagers as possible so hopefully if I can find the right one it's this, this, that, that and yeah I'm just going to quickly go through the chests. Ooh. These probably have mobs in, don't they? No, oh, no. Single use, single use, jazz, fire net, jazz, fire net. Top chest up here. There we go. So that's all of them. So I'll probably bring the majority of them over. I thought I already had a load over here. Probably me just going crazy and thinking about a different world. So, let's head over to the village. And hopefully, if the game doesn't freeze like it is, We'll be able to make it over there and back in a few solid trips. Well, a solid trip. Just having a few villagers on my side would be very useful. As well as that, I probably might gather a bit more dark oak. as dark oak is also quite useful as I have been going through wood quite a bit off camera not just by making certain items, making this, making that but yeah trying my best to make stuff it's quite easy and quite hard so over here we need to find a guy that can trade coal for emeralds but let's begin off with this guy. You're a farmer. Wicked. You can tell he's a farmer by he trades 21 wheat for an emerald. That's quite a decent trade, really. Getting freezes. I'm just having one of them days because of the bad weather. Okay, into the house here. Here, where I saw another guy. Oh, he's moved. So, in here, there's a villager. Oh, lag spike. Yeah, you can tell I've not been over here for quite some time. You are a cleric. I didn't even look to see what the guy had. Because he just tried to run past me, so I just shift clicked. So, heading back over here, we can see a villager up in the top house. I should just be using the mini map. In here, we have two villagers. So let's quickly open and close the door. Let's have a look. Ah, stay still. Your villager, one emerald for free bread. That's another farmer. Oh, oh, Fletcher. I am talking about villagers which are coming from a later update. So if you're probably wondering where I'm getting all these names from, it's from Minecraft 
1.14 plus because all the villagers have names and I kind of know them all <laughs> the only positive there is is there is no cartographers I really cannot speak so let's just put that there grab the pickaxe And this is where we are just going to go now. One, two, three. I see a blacksmith in the back there. That's used, that's used, that's used. Oh, what have you got for me? Oh, not good. By the looks of things. We don't have a coal guy. What are you? You got decent seeds. You. Some of these I can recycle. You are one for a chi uh, eight chicken. One for four bread, and I've got to choose one between you two. Hmm. And there's also a guy out here. So, by the looks of things, probably the best way to go is to gather a bit of wheat. And then the first guy I got is going to be the best. And it's quite easy to gather a bit of wheat. Just come over to here and I'm punching the wheat. But because I've got agro crafting, if I hold right click, it harvests and leaves the seeds. Therefore, it's just taking the wheat that is grown off and just leaving the plant there to regrow. Which also makes it a bit faster to regrow. So that's a bonus. So just by going along, I need to get as many emeralds as possible, so get as much wheat as necessarily needed, and just hope for the best. So we're just going like this. I've already got enough wheat to get myself roughly about two emeralds. On top of that, thinking about it, if I have one on me, I do, I have a dolly. In here is not that chest, I have cactus green seeds, all of these quite good so should be this one if I open that one yeah so this is going quite well so I'm gonna catch you guys back over at the base in a second and we're back hopefully without any more crashes because I have experienced some quite a few times now so, made it back to base luckily. Oh, destroying torch. But sadly, while I was reorganizing my inventory, as you can see, my shovel kind of might have uh, been magically deleted. Not very happy about that, but there's not a lot we can really do. So, main thing is first. We need to place the torch back. Torch is key. So, let's head down to the bottom here. So, by heading down to the bottom here, I have, if I press F7, I have a light level indicator on. Tells me where all the safe and non-safe areas are. 
for lighting. So down here, for example, I need to place a torch. It lights it up quite nicely. So over here in the wall, this is only temp as. Oh. Yeah, I just need somewhere to place the villager. No water, please. How much sand is there? Quite a bit. And then there's water. Not good. I was hoping there wasn't water. Apparently it had other plans. I'm just going to place torch there. That way no mobs can spawn. And then down here, place three cobble on either side. Then I want a half slab. Reason being, no. Finally, we got emeralds. Now you should get the regeneration effect. What's your next trade? Ooh, that is a decent food source. Sadly, I do not need them. The main thing I needed, I got. I got emeralds. So, now along the lines of getting emeralds, that allows me to get silk touch, which then fully allows me to go mining in the nether. So that's a huge plus. On top of that, I'm just going to chuck my inventory into one of these. Is, yeah, I want to keep them safe. Two emeralds out of everything that I've done, I've only got two emeralds. So, next task I need to get enough string. I don't have any, so for that, I want to build a mob farm. As you already know, I've already got a spider spawner, and I can transport that via dimensions using a diamond dolly. As well as that, I need a pump, which I've got already placed in the mining dimension. But to get that, I need to first fully, because while off camera as well, well before I even started properly recording today, I chucked a load of iron into the smeltery to smelt up, as well as gold. I think I even did it in recording, I don't know. I am um, literally, my brain is kaput. I'm not having the best of days. Okay, don't even know why I've got this guy in my hotbar. Must be some odd reason why I have. There must be a reason I have in my inventory. So, on that note, on that note, well, seriously cannot speak. There must be some reason why I've got him. I know it's inventory, but it chooses one with a similar trade, if not the exact same. Okay, I'm just gonna grab dark oak. I'm gonna place that like that. I'm gonna place that like that. I know there's going to be water. 
And if there isn't, I'll be surprised. Come on. I'm just gonna leap. You are an emerald from ten arrows? That'd be probably useful in the long run. Right, quickly while I'm not busy, I'm gonna chuck that into there. Because that way I know where the resources are. So, on top of that, we need to head back up and drain the smell through. Because I'm going to just be doing a load, and I mean a load, of drum crafting. Yeah, it's turning night. Soon I'll be uploading a crash landing pack. And I'm speaking about that. Well, not I'm not going to be uploading up there. I'm not going to be releasing it, I'm going to be uploading videos on my channel. And yeah, like I say, I am not in the right mindset at the moment. I am a bit bleh. Any way to really describe it really. Got a bit of a sore throat. <sighs> and still a bit tired. If you guys can tell by the sore throat, I am sorry. <clears throat> Sounds a bit scratchy, but who cares? It's uh, at the end of the day, who cares? I want to carry on YouTube, and sometimes you got to take risks. So if I do sound a bit scratched up or um, not myself, just know I am just probably coming down with something, or I've just got a bit of a tickly throat. I don't know. One of the above. Hopefully this should be enough iron anyway. No iron in there. Ten iron ingots in there. There we go. So, <clears throat> like I said, sorry about that. I want to do a load of iron crafting. Well, crafting with iron. So, main parts are going to be the following. I need minimum number four. That's another four of them. I need another four though. And then four cauldrons, eight iron weighted pleasure plates. Pressure plates. The use of them equals a drum. I have shown this recipe before. And I will need some fluid conduit. A bucket. And that should be it. Hopefully this should be enough to finally drain my little lava lake that I found if it's not then I won't be surprised it is one of the biggest that I found it is good because it has given me quite a bit of power over the coming day over the coming episodes or over the past episodes however you want to say it but apparently minecraft is going to freeze so I will catch you on the other side I'm back so we managed to make it through unharmed, unscathed and my quarries have power again I'll fix it up in a sec so first things first we need to head down to a lava pump, which I have marked. 
and that's where we'll be really just getting the pump hopefully if the area is all drained if it's not then so be it the game is still deciding to lag and if you have noticed yeah I am carrying on from yesterday I was recording and today so I'm feeling a bit better but my computer ended up crashing and I'm just glad none of the files got corrupted it happens can't be helped but the only other thing I forgot is I wanted to empty the dolly convert it into a diamond dolly and I have still got this here don't have any planks so I wouldn't be able to actually make another dolly which is a sad thing unless I can find an abandoned mine shaft which then I might be lucky enough I think there was one down here but I cannot remember for the life of me so just trying to get down here well it seems to be a bit of a nightmare you guys haven't seen really where the lava pump is well you saw me set it up but not necessarily go back there as you can see I have my tunnel out and yeah you saw this in the last time I came down here that's a bit of a walk but doesn't bother me I keep forgetting to do this so I might as well just do it on camera Ooh. Well, I just saw it myself. I did not expect that. So, we just got another level of haste. Hmm, that's nice. should do Ooh. me thinking that it would still be full I was wrong and the game decides to freeze at this moment in time great shift oh and there is still lava to be left oh. to be pumped in because need to switch that to insert so I can drain that this generator is for the power and this pump yeah huh. this is fun so I can have 20 uh, per bucket is a thousand so yeah that's just uh, speechless <laughs> Game freeze. Should take full damage. Oh, maybe not. And need the pump. 
and there is still lava here to be drained. I know that much. And yeah, for some reason I'm just having a real bad day of life. Or spikes, or black spikes. Just having bad luck, put it that way. Probably just be simpler. <laughs> so, oh, I'm also doing, okay. I daren't go up there because that's where I dug some channel out to drain the lava up here. But I ended up filling up more and more, so it was a case of just shut it down. I don't need it at the moment. I have enough. Well, still do. I have way too much. But I ain't going to complain because power is power. So. The main task that I wanted to get done is in this world there is a chance of getting um, Tinker's Islands or the Slime Islands and while I was doing the quarry in one of the previous episodes I noticed one. So as well as having a spider farm, which I need to transfer the sp uh, spawner over, I will do that on camera as well. Probably be in another episode though. If I can get that over to the overworld, I can make a spider farm. And with this, I need to get cactus because I'm going to be making a slime farm. But it's going to be one of the most weirdest, oddest designs. It works, I will admit. Well, I should say it's overpowered. For how simple it is, it, you wouldn't believe how fast it runs. It runs faster than this. <laughs> that much I haven't even got the area marked it's that close so before I head over there I need to make one last thing resources on me already. I already have one. Never mind. How did I not notice that? So, first things first. Give me some cobble, please. Ooh, shiny. How did I not notice that? That's nice. That's rare. Especially so high up, though. Well, it is a pretty big quarry, so wouldn't surprise me. And which general direction was it? It was. I've seen it. That was a slime island. Press J, did I load it? This is going to really baffle me because I swear I saw one. I noticed it while I was in the previous episode. This is probably going to take me a while to find. I'll join, you back, join me back when I find it. Well then, we're back. I'm a complete and utter... Yeah, I'm a nutter. I'm a complete and utter nutter. Apparently, it just hadn't loaded in. 
so I was just running around for about half an hour loading up parts of the map which yeah some of it has already been loaded but I've loaded a tiny bit more is I went back to the portal and went back and watched my previous episodes and I saw where it was so quickly running over there gonna quickly get up there as quick as possible and yeah I'll explain you through the pan but on the way there I need to see if I can quickly grip a bit of water so ooh. Loads of animals. Oof. The main reason I want water is yeah, I need a quick way down. Water is gonna be that way. This is gonna be fun. So Just trying to get a decent kind of like area. Is that a second one? There's two by the side of each other. Well, did not expect that actually. So, the reason I need a couple pillar up. This is not the funnest of tasks. But, I might as well bring you along. There's... Yeah. Need time to explain. With the slime water that you can get from the islands, you can make a slime farm. I do quite a simple design. If you've ever really seen a cactus farm... Well, cactus slash... Well, I should be more specific a string farm or a slime farm where you use cactus to generate slimes I want to actually head up above the island yeah slime reason being I want to head up above Ooh, bit of a lag spike. Oh, I saw a red. There's red dots on the map. Gotta be careful. So, quickly to up. If you're across. Pace the pump. the generator and the drum now then where's this other island that I literally not long ago saw ok we both saw those two islands <laughs> I'm blind it's up above me <laughs> Yep, yeah, that's just my luck. Oof. Right. No cobble down there. Okay, that's good. I will it also admit. Should have brought a shovel. <coughs> it would have been so much easier. Oh, saplings. It is fun working with this stuff. Oh, and 
here comes the rain. I will admit you can get loads of slime balls. We even got a lip bag. This stuff is legend dairy in a sense. Now that I've actually got it, we'll quickly hold you over it. It's used in quite a few recipes. Slime stick, lassos, oh, give me a sec. You got slimalizer, you got line, basic duster, I used a blood ball for that. You got semi automatic duster, you got the speed downgrade, speed downgrade, name tag, stickers, sponge, bio reactor, safari nets. These are the main things I would like it for. Got the collect the congealed blue slime block. Got the slime embedding syringe. Got sticky pistons and then slimy mud. Slime channels. Just magical pencils and crayons. Oh, we'll go back page. We got magical forbs. Epic Eraser, Florbs, Magma Cream, which is quite a nice one as well. Never worked with that stuff. Sticky Pistons, so on and so forth. Don't know what the stuff is. Bounce Pads are quite fun. They are really fun. The Slime Brick. Yeah, you can also cure it to, few, to make food. And then, as well on the island, you have a chance, well, every island spawns these congealed purple. They're nice. I have also or will also be making a shovel off camera as I've already made one before I need a new one so I'll probably be doing that off camera if you guys want to see me make it on camera please write down in the description and yeah we'll go from there really or if you guys want me to just cheat it back in which that's going to be a fast I'll cheat it back in because that way I have the exact same shovel the only difference will be that it will have none of its well it will be the exact same just means that I'll be starting from scratch with it really so in other words there's another one over there what no and what well, uh, I'm getting distracted in other words, it would be the exact same shovel. It will just have more upgrades than any of the others. And already I'm shocked. Wait, I didn't get that. You can mine the grass faster than you can the dirt. That makes no sense at all. On to the next island which has more slimes. I'm not going all the way down to the ground to pull it back up. No sorry. I will rather just build across. Hoping that there is no like big slimes that can escape because if they do 
I know gonna be happy. So I need the pump, cobble, and that again. And one about that. Ooh. Again, a few nice drops. look for the deepest area whoa yeah these purple blocks do give you the smallest amount of jump boost free and it's one of the benefits as well they do sink you down but I don't pick the generator up before I did meh doesn't bother me. First things first. Oh. Da 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 da. No, da 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 no. No gon slap me off. No. No 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 no. I do not want my second death yet. Uh. Oh, yeah, that was a risk and a half. Please tell me that's almost drained. Oh, we're getting the big slimes. We now get in the big slimes. Die, die. Never had a heart attack moment like that before. Right, this video is well and truly running over time. I'm gonna head over to the other Slime Island if I find any others. And I'll just let you guys know in the next episode. So, if you guys enjoyed, please make sure to hit the like button. If you're not already, feel free to subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Bye, guys.